found an opportunity for me in, in Kansas City. Uh, went there and played for a coach named Bill Fickey, who later on obviously became a, a my what one of my huge huge supporters. In that, uh, even though he didn't play me a lot, I did play quite a bit. I was a backup center because the CBA is more really for the guys that have the handle the ball, it's more for the guards and the, and the smaller athletic guys. So I, I was getting opportunity, and, and uh, he he liked what he had, but uh, decided you know obviously he, the CBA is a, a guard league. So I played the second half of the season there, and actually things weren't looking very good because um, a, a side note on that was that I couldn't even get a work permit. So I was actually here. I was an illegal illegal alien at the time because the uh, I couldn't get an H1 visa being a CBA player. As an NBA player, it was not a problem. But as a CBA, I wasn't really you know proving myself to be any better than any other American, so I was taking jobs away from Americans. And the way Americans look at that is, is no, we're not gonna, it's not gonna allow that. So, coming to the end of the season, it wasn't looking good. Uh, I wasn't getting the work permit, so I was on my way back to Iceland. I, I already, if I remember correctly, I think I had an airline ticket. As a matter of fact, on Iceland Air to fly out right after the last game of the season, which was uh, on St. Patrick's Day in, in, in 1986. However, the last three games that we played were against lacrosse, and the Lakers had just called. The Sizzlers looking for a replacement for Mitch Kupchak, who had just gone down. He had hurt his knee badly, and, and they were looking for a replacement. Um, had a, actually had a player right there on a 10-day contract that they had decided wasn't going to wasn't going to make it. Uh, he wasn't really a true center, so they had called my agent, called my uh, my um, coach Bill Fickey, and, and asked him, you know, if he had any names uh, around the league that he would recommend. And, and coach actually recommended me even though I was a backup on, on a CBA team. So Lakers ended up sending out a scout for the last game of the season, not even the last two, but the last game, which is at 9 o'clock on, a, on St. Patrick's Day, 1986. So ever since then, St. Patrick's Day has been my day because um, I played well enough in that game to get picked up by the Lakers and get offered a 10-day contract. And um, after that, I got another 10-day and then ended up signing a two-year contract. So, so that was my CBA experience. It, it worked out for me.